Hi guys, so here we are December 1st and we're actually having our first snowstorm of the season here in Ohio. And I thought since it's snowing out there anyway and all cozy in here, what could be more fun than painting a piece of furniture? I know it's late afternoon, the lighting's not the best, but since I'm in the mood to do it, I'll take you guys with me as I work on it. But I will warn you, for those of you who cannot stand to see an antique being painted, just swipe me off your phone, I don't mind. I do really like this piece the way it is, but I have another idea for it that I think will be just as beautiful. Join me as I work on it and enjoy. I fixed some water and dish soap to clean this piece, and then I also used my little Dyson sweeper to sweep out some of the dirt. I am planning on using a Valspar brand chalk paint for this piece. Uh, it was just some that I had left over from someone's bathroom cabinets that I had done several years ago, and it is a gray color. To start out with here, I am planning on just painting the sides and the frame part. I'm going to leave the top, the doors and the drawer, the stain color. I can always, you know, paint it if I don't like the look of it, but I'm going to give it a shot here to go for a two-toned look. ended up giving the piece two coats. I almost wouldn't have had to, but just made it look more finished to give that second coat. So I feel like there should be a break in color here from the top to the drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint the drawer gray also. See how that looks. The beautiful thing about chalk paint is you can actually use a wet rag to distress pieces. Um, just you know, make it fairly wet and then rub it over wherever you want the original surface to show through. And it just beats using you know sandpaper and creating a mess. I have some friends from Arkansas that gave this piece to me. Uh, they know I you know like to redo furniture, and they didn't have any use for it. I think it was just in their storage. Um, it had some broken parts to it like the top like the rack was broken off and one of the doors um, I did fix that I didn't get a video of it and they know I like to redo furniture so they brought me this piece um, they said I can either keep it or sell it they don't mind I'll probably end up selling it since I don't really have room for it I wish I would it's such a cute piece and as I was painting this piece I already wished the paint was more of a warm tone of gray 
I feel like it almost clashes with that rich brown tone of the doors and the top but since I put it on I'll probably just leave it here I am the next day and I'm going to see what happens if I actually sand down the top and the doors see if I can just lighten them up a bit the other thing that kind of bothered me was the difference in the grain of the two doors but I could always paint them I guess that would fix that I was easily able to sand off that top coat that was kind of glossy, but the color did not change much. I'm applying an Annie Sloan Clear Wax over the whole piece here. Um, love that product. It just gives such a nice, you know, matte, um, hard, smooth surface. I use it a lot on the pieces I redo. I'm sure you've seen it before. I definitely don't hate this piece, but it's probably not one of my favorite color combinations. Again, I feel if that gray was a tone that was, you know, more a tan gray, like a warm tone, it would look, you know, much better. But it's okay this way too. And of course, my little photo bomb here always knows when I'm taking pictures. The next step for this piece was loading it up and taking it up to my booth at the Walnut Creek Antique Mall. And I'll make sure to put that address down below in the description box in case you're local and want to visit. They have lots of amazing things. That antique mall has always been one of my favorite here in the area.
also added a few Christmas decorations today. I was kind of running behind. I still had my fall things up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though my piece here didn't quite turn out the way I had envisioned. I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments and be honest, I will not be offended, I promise. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!